Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We are back out on the shooting range and we got something crazy for you guys today. Ball bearing body armor. Say that fast three times. What we did here is we put some 4,000 ball bearings, quarter inch ball bearings in um, epoxy. So it's quite thick and we have no idea how this is gonna work. And uh, we thought, hey, let's, let's put this together and and try this, see how it works. Now, a friend of mine said, well, you gotta wrap it because if you don't, then it's only as strong as the epoxy and if a huge chunk breaks off, well, no good. So what we did is we're gonna wrap it, the front piece here, we already wrapped the sides in the back in this uh, Vicor Plus. Oh, it's like stuff that goes around your windows and, and stuff like that to uh, keep moisture out. So we'll wrap it in that to help keep this together. And what we're gonna do is shoot out of this Chinese Mosin. And here's the rounds we're gonna use. We're using 54R round. So the first one we got here is an Egyptian spotter tracer round. Uh, the next one we got here is a Soviet tracer round. This one here is uh, Argentina spotter. This one here, you can actually rattle back and forth and hear the little firing pin move. If you look at this uh, picture right here, this kind of shows you what's in these rounds. And this red tip here is also a Soviet spotter tracer round. Same thing, has a little firing pin in it and it goes off. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends, the best free downloadable game for your PC, for your tablet, and for your cell phone. So no excuses that you ain't clicking the link down in the description downloading it now. The history of this game is absolutely amazing. It started out as some cool character art. Now I'm old enough to remember when the first video game Pong came out. Hey, it had to start somewhere, but in two short years, Raid Shadow Legends took off. With over 70 million downloads, 1 million daily players, 2 billion live player battles, and 10 billion PvE battle spots, and a 6 star rating on everything. Raids just passed their second year anniversary and the game is bigger and better than ever before. In just a month and a half of awesome events, clan versus clan tournaments, and there's no sign of them slowing down yet. But wait, there's more. They're also releasing their second version of the Doom Tower. That means new releases, new gear to win to customize your champions, but also two brutal looking bosses to take on. The Celestial Griffin and the Eternal Dragon. Man, I can't wait to dive in and take them down. Hey, and if you all want to get a head start in the game, scan my QR code or click the link in the description to get your awesome champion who will dominate in the Dark Tower. Plus, you'll get 1,000 silver, 50 gems, and three ancient shards to call upon killer champions as soon as you get in the game. And you can find those waiting for you right here. So live in the now, guys. Get your free copy of Raid Shadow Legend today by either scanning the QR code or clicking the link down in the description below. Do it today. And the players, what would you tell them? Tell your friends. Download Raid Shadow Legends. Justin and I shot these at some half inch thick steel, mild steel, and they blew right through it. Cause they got that little steel firing pin in it. We don't know if it's hardened or anything, but uh, it still works pretty good as a penetrating core. So this is what we got for you guys today. Enough talking, let's get shooting. So first round is the Egyptian tracer. It's not a spotter tracer like Chris had mentioned. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So just Egyptian tracer into a, our, or into our uh, chest mounted claymore. Let's see what happens. You good? Yeah. All right, we'll see where this goes.
<laughs> I know pieces came right back because I heard him hit. Yeah, hit the vehicle right behind me. I really hope it stopped it. It didn't explode like I thought it would. Clear. Okay, so um, I just need to stick to making videos and not body armor. Um, well, it came apart. <laughs> like Justin said, this would be a Claymore mine <laughs> in your body. Good Lord. I bet this would have stopped 22. It probably would have stopped pistol too. I don't know if we're gonna get four rounds out of this sucker, so. <laughs> but we're still gonna truck. shoot it. Yeah, I got nine mil in my truck if you wanna shoot it. Well, we'll see if it'll stop anything cause it's not compromised anywhere else. Just put a little bit more tape back there. All right, let's move on to the next round. Here we go. What about that coconut shaped hole in your chest? The coconut size hole in your don't chest. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It's nothing to see here, it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna try the Soviet trace around into our chest mounted claymore. Take two. All right, you ready? Here we go. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but pieces actually hit the table. We are not too far. I actually thought about getting closer. Clear. All right. I make body armor about as good as I weld. So, um, yeah, these ball bearings, bad idea for body armor. <laughs> as you can see, it implants it right into this sandbag. That's crazy, man. Look at that. Smells good. Yeah, right? Okay, blew right through that. Well, I'm sure the other two rounds are gonna blow right through it. So here's what we got for you guys. We are going to use our tough teddy bear. Get rid of this Chris's body armor. It's no bueno. So what we're gonna do, if you guys saw this video right here, we shot this level four body armor. This stuff is really cool. It has different actually squares of ceramic in it. So if you hit it one place, it's not compromised throughout the whole thing. So go watch that video, it's cool. We shot it with uh, 5.56 baddest rounds. Um, this did held up really good. So we're going to do these last two rounds and uh, see how our level four with already four hits holds up against these last two rounds. And this should show you the force once it hits Mr. Teddy Bear here, but I think it'll still save him. So uh, let's do this. All right, next one is going to be the Argentine spotter round, but you know, loaded into this 54R brass out of the Chinese Mosin. So it's really hard to be accurate with all these different kinds of rounds. They're different weights, they fly funny. So I'm hoping to hit on the R where it says strike face, but uh, I'll get as close as I can. But well, they seem to be all over the place. You ready? Ready. I wonder if the bear is safe. Let's go check that one out. Holy cow. Good Lord, man. 
Look at that. <laughs> but it did not go through. Of course, it still uh, hurt. Okay, so this this back part of this, it's Kev or it's Kevlar on the back side, which I did not know, and ceramic all on the front. Again, it has these squares on it. Pretty good shot there, Justin. We were aiming for the R. He hit the T. So that's good enough. And again, the good thing about this body armor is with all these individual squares, it's not compromised. Um, our bear, if you want to check out our uh, little teddy bear here, look at that, he's still good. Except for, um, he got the stuffing blown out of him. If you watch this video here, Justin had built some really cool Soviet World War II full auto um, submachine guns, a PPS 43-52 and just a regular PPS 43. Um, but that's what our tough teddy bear took on the last time, so he looks pretty good. Eh, he got a little bit of fluff taken out of him, so it's just a flesh wound. We're going to try that last uh, Russian spotter tracer round. It's a 7.62 by 54R PZ, um, and we're going to hit it right in the face. Let's do it. All right, now it's time for the Russian 54R PZ. This should give us a sweet fire show, smoke show, all of the above. I'm gonna aim right for the face. Do a little bit of FaceTime, if you will. All right. You ready? These rounds are crazy. They travel all over the place. Man, that is some good body armor. That's incredible. Look at that. Did not go through. Look at this thing. It's just amazing at how many hits this thing took and that it uh, <laughs> still left a nice dent in our teddy bear here. You can see on the high-speed camera the force that this thing had on this teddy bear, which is basically like a pillow, like a pillow. But there we go. This body armor held up level four from all those hits. I, I'm impressed, man. Hey, look, we still got a couple good squares left in there, Justin. As long as it hits that... Um, ceramic plate man this uh kevlar back here seems to catch it so hope you guys like that video thumbs up subscribe don't forget to buy your t-shirts we thank our patrons so much you guys are a big big help and we thank you so sign up on the patrons page today thumbs up we'll see you later